Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Friday, October the 13th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And I will be reading the three passages of scripture that are designed to be here by the Revised Common Lectionary in its three-year plan to take us through the entirety of the Bible. We are in the church season called After Pentecost. And this is year A of the three-year cycle. And I will read Psalm 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of the prophet Isaiah. We'll read chapter from chapter 22, the second half of verse 8 through to verse 14. The prophet writes, In that day you looked to the weapons of the house of the forest, and you saw that the breaches of the city of David were many. You collected the waters of the lower pool, and you counted the houses of Jerusalem, and you broke down the houses to fortify the wall. You made a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the old pool, but you did not look to him who did it, or see him who planned it long ago. In that day the Lord God of hosts called for weeping, and mourning for baldness and wearing sackcloth and behold joy and gladness killing oxen and slaughtering sheep eating flesh and drinking wine let us eat and drink for tomorrow we die the Lord of hosts has revealed himself in my ears surely this iniquity will not be atoned for you until you die says the Lord God of hosts a reading from the New Testament comes from the letter of the brother of Jesus, James, and from chapter 4, verses 4 to 10. James writes, You adulterous people, you, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you suppose it is to no purpose that scripture says, he yearns jealously over the spirit that he has made to dwell in us, but he gives more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be wretched and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. And we pray to you in gracious um, thanks for the generous provision of it to us. Grant, Father, through the power of your Spirit, that these words might be written in our hearts and minds and souls, and therein work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Friends, thank you for spending just a few short minutes today listening to the Word of God. I am so blessed to be able to provide this for you. I've taken the references from both option one, which is what I read, and option two from today's readings, and I've put them in the description for this video so that you have them and you can look them up easily and read them again for yourselves, which I, I do recommend. Until we're together again, and I pray that will be tomorrow to hear the selections for that day, 
may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.